What up guys, it is 7 Demo 7. I'm up here at Kite Hill once again. It's my favorite flying hill and it's on my way to work, which is probably one of those things you're wondering, how in the heck does 7 Demo 7 or Jeff uh, do uh, so many videos? Well, I stop off on my way to work. I do a quick video sometimes, maybe without a video and I do a quick flight. Uh, but what I wanted to bring you guys today is um, I just put on my T motors onto my mini quad. I've had these for a while. I just haven't really had the motivation to uh, get these things all uh, put on. Uh, so I'm just going to do a little test flight here. Um, I've done a few test flights and they really are quite nice. I have to uh, take care of these motor wires here. I obviously um, soldered them a little bit long. Uh, but I'm running the 5x4 inch Gem Fam props. They're pretty, uh, pretty meaty. Um, they really they take a little bite out of the air. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, put a battery on and I'll get started. Um, some of you guys will remember that I had, um, I was having some control issues actually and I, it's kind of a funny thing but um, I think I finally have the control issues uh, taken care of and what it was, and, and let me just let you know, I replaced my nase board to try and fi find this problem. I replaced the nase board, I replaced my ESCs, I replaced my receiver, um, pretty much everything. And it wasn't until I switched out the motors that I think I found the problem because the control problem uh, hasn't come back. And basically, I take off and I would have some level flight for about 30 seconds or so. And after I would give it some, some input, it would suddenly think that th tilting 30 degrees backwards was, uh, was flat and it would just keep getting worse and worse. And you can't, obviously you can't fly like that. So this frame is really taking a beating um, because of that. So. So it was a bad motor, it was a DYS motor, which I actually like those motors, um, but something was wrong with either one of them or two of them possibly, um, that uh, I couldn't detect it by doing motor calibrations and whatnot. So I just took the DYSs off there, put the T motors on, and I tell you what, this thing is flying really good. So I'm gonna put you guys on my head and we'll do a quick little flight. Ooh, I got some cool hair this morning. Oh, having a YouTube channel is so glamorous, I tell you. Yep, there's my beeper, off model beeper. Okay, let me make sure my switches are in the right spot. I'm in angle mode, not not any uh, rate mode quite yet. All right, let's get the bad boy up in the air. Um, once again, I've got the Team Legit. Hopefully you guys can see the uh, PDB board. I haven't had any problems with it at all. Some guys were having problems with shorts. I'm gonna run some plastic washers underneath the, the standoffs just to be safe. Um, and just a quick tip, I, I mentioned this in my very, very long video, so some of you guys might not have seen this, but um, I actually replaced my screws, my M3 screws with M8, M3 by 8 screws, so these um, threads come way down into the standoffs, so there's really no chance of them um, uh, breaking out of those standoffs, and it gives us a frame a lot stiffer uh, stance. Also, uh, when you do that, um, it doesn't add a lot of weight, it adds about 3 grams to the whole thing. And a lot of, uh, it's always really hard to see, but I've got the, uh, the tail light there, so. And my, uh, I broke off my immersion uh, VTX protector, so there's uh, Bali there, he's gonna be along for the ride. So, let's get going. All right. Let's do a quick little hover just to try it out. Keep trying to get my eyes out of the sun here because that sun is really powerful. I'm gonna walk over to the other side of the airfield here. Just gonna do some passes. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm just kind of. I've had about two months off from this quad, and and I just want to make sure that. Uh, Just want to make sure that I can control it because it's different. You know, I've been doing planes for about two months, so. Don't want to get this thing too wild yet. I'm getting the, getting the hang of it. I always takes me a few minutes to kind of get the hang of this quad. But once I do, it's just pretty nice. 
Okay, let me bring it over here. I'll flip, I'll flip it into horizon mode here. Let's do a couple flips here. As the, the silent flip where I turn off the motors, I flip, I flip the, uh, flip it up. You can do, you can do three, four, five flips right in a row because it's still going on its upward trajectory. I like to do it over uh, these plants here because every once in a while, the, sometimes the motors don't come back up, which is kind of a weird thing. Uh, I don't know if it was me that was doing it or, or not, but I'm gonna err on the, the side of me uh, being the, the person that is in error. Yeah, that feels. I mean, it feels like I'm on 4s. I'm on 3s right now. It's a 22. Uh, it's a 1300 milliamp pack. There's a nice little smooth pass. One thing I've noticed, and I, I can't really tell if it's the Emacs uh, ESCs or if it's the T motors, but it really has a, a smooth power band, which is kind of cool. That was kind of a slow flip. There was a double flip with the motors off. Uh, yeah, definitely, guys, uh, try that uh, up on your own wrist because I have slammed this thing into the ground, uh, oh, I'd say about 20 times by somehow moving my stick down and to the left by accident, and that shut off my motors. And uh, it's happened a few times, and I, it wasn't pretty, you know. There's my silent flip. I like it. All right, it's not that special. Uh, obviously, the uh, the 4S. One thing I've noticed about uh, excuse me, not 4S, but the 5 by 4 inch pops, is when you're racing, uh, it's harder. It's much harder to um, to hold a uh, a hover. And that's probably just my skills though. I mean, I'm not the most skilled pilot that there is out there, but I noticed, uh, you know, I was doing a race and I noticed, you know, when you've got to hit these gates that are 10 feet off the ground, which sounds easy, but it actually is quite hard. It's hard to modulate your altitude at such a, lo a low altitude and going at speed as well. These seem like they're, they're doing pretty nice, but that's because I'm doing line of sight. I'm not doing FPV right now. So one thing I noticed is when I went to the five by threes, it was just a much, much easier to uh, to modulate my throttle and, and you know close off the ground. And I'm probably coming to the end of this battery here. We're at about five minutes. So. Yeah, I can hear the the battery beeper going there. My voltage beeper. It's, All right, let's bring this baby home. So that's the T-Motors, guys. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, I'm just kind of getting back into my quads. So I, um, they're uh, very responsive from what I can tell. They have a little bit of a meteor groan to them, not quite as high pitched as, as the DYSs. Um, it's a good, uh, so far I can tell they're, they're pretty nice. Um, so, you know, they used to be fairly expensive. They used to be about $45 a motor. And now they are about, you can get them on sale for 20. There we go. All right, hey, I parked it. All right, fellas, so I hope you had a good morning. Um, got some flights in this morning and I need to head to work. And hopefully you guys can stop off on your mornings and have nice flights. Um, I, that's why I try to get my flights in whenever I can. You know, I've got kids, I've got work. So, you know, short flights, sweet. Take care guys, bye.